Flight 587 crashed in Queens. Look at these rudder inputs. Investigators turn to the best clue they have, the unusual rudder movements. 11 degrees left. 11 degrees right. Could he have ripped the tail off his own plane? Normally, pilots only move the rudder a couple of degrees in either direction to steer the plane. Investigators wonder if the extreme rudder movements on Flight 587 created the aerodynamic force needed to tear the stabilizer off. You ready? To find out, they create a computer simulation of an A300 and fly it the same way as First Officer Morlin, moving the rudder 11 degrees back and forth three times. There. That would have done it. The discovery finally explains what happened to American Airlines Flight 587, but it doesn't explain why. It's clear the pilot should have had no trouble handling the amount of wake turbulence they experienced on takeoff, but that's not what happened on Flight 587. They don't understand why an experienced pilot would move his rudder so violently to fly out of the wake. Investigators believe the first officer was following his training when he overreacted to wake turbulence. They learned that some trainees were presented with an impossible scenario. For this drill, there's a Boeing 747 just ahead of you. When you encounter his wake, the upset will begin. They were told that wake turbulence would induce the sudden roll. The wake turbulence rarely tilts you more than 10 degrees in any direction, and it's easily recoverable. Unfortunately, the exercise was exaggerated. The airplane banked one direction a little bit and then went very strongly to 90 degrees, which is a tremendous bank in the opposite direction. The only way to recover is with sustained rudder inputs. A little wake turbulence, huh? Yeah. First Officer Molin was trained to believe that severe wake turbulence could cause a catastrophic upset. The first officer began responding with a wheel back and forth and accompanied by rudder, a uh, back and forth rudder. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. He thought it was some outside turbulence or something else that was happening, and he was making opposite controls and was fighting himself and didn't know that it was actually his inputs that were causing the problem. The first officer's actions stress the vertical stabilizer until it breaks under the strain. After the accident, American Airlines changes its training procedures dealing with wake turbulence. Once it became clear that uh, some negative training was going on, American Airlines, to their credit, uh, revamp the program to uh, prevent this type of activity. The training simulator has been modified to be more realistic. Inputs have an immediate effect. Pilots are now taught not to use the rudder at high speed. A new warning light is also installed in the cockpit to help prevent pilots from deflecting the rudder too far during flight. <laughs> 